Well, I lived among them. I worked among them. And I picked up a few words, Jewish, Yiddish, what they were, not enough to speak. So I went in search of a rabbi. Rabbi means teacher. I came to find out. But may I tell you the Lord's honest truth? So many of our highest ranking officers whose responsibility it is to deal with the Israelites, they make no attempt to get inside the Jewish head. I went to visit this rabbi, old man, long beard, in his one room flat. And when he saw me, his eyes grew as large as hen's eggs. I asked him to teach me his language and he agreed. And he said that he would, but that he would charge me, of course. <laughs> so I applied to my commander for funds and I was denied. Now, I've run into this opposition all my life, so I paid my own money, very little, not much. And he taught me some vocabulary and letters of the alphabet. But looking back, I realized it was poor judgment on my part because I could have so easily had the old man arrested, put into prison and demanded lessons from him in his cell, free of charge. One day he went out. He was rounded up and shipped off because he had gone out unadvisedly. And I thought, that's so stupid. Why are they so stupid? Didn't he know that I would have protected him? At least until my lessons were complete. I want to be through by 2.30 or earlier. There is no reason why we cannot keep going. I prefer you all stay at the table. There will be a buffet lunch. There will be a buffet lunch. Excellent. Now settle down. We're moving along. 